Okay, so we're just waiting for the helicopter to clear out of the port. So we are in the city center. This game is fully modded. So just one moment. Yes, this game is, is, I have fully modded this game, so there's 75 mods and just shy of 5,000 assets in this game. Um, what you're seeing at the moment is what's called, I'm in the first person camera mode, which is a mod in itself. Um, this is how we set. What's causing the daytime, nighttime is what's called the real time mod, which simulates a full 24 hour da uh, day in the game. And the, and the weekends so currently it is Thursday evening in the game okay that's Z moving and we've got a stuck chopper have we so I'm just going to get rid of him yeet the helicopter So we're currently in the city centre at the moment. Well, technically on its eastern fringe. Not today. Although it has in the past. Well, wrong game, but it has in the past. <laughs> So we're just, it's going to its destinations at the moment. So we'll just we'll have it fly one way, and then I'll take the second chopper back to the airport on another circuit. So the current population is... Uh, 149,000, so you always multiply it by 3 for IRL, so it's just shy of... Actually, no, you multiply it by a factor of 5. So yeah, about three quarters of a million would be ac would be about it's accurate. Hope nobody gets seasick or air sick. Puke bags are in the seat in front of you. So the first person mode allows me to fly in the choppers. Allows me to go down onto the buses, cars, trucks. down on the ground and it will allow me to ride the metro whether it's above ground or underground yeah, this is what i mean i think we've got a case of have we got stuck vehicles or we just got vehicles being very slow it's also a rush hour so they might no it's 10 o'clock in the game 10 p.m so it might be a bit of bunching where we're heading is just over here. Oh, hang on. Yes, I like... <laughs> so where we're heading is this tower over here. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to... Alright, Siki. If I don't see you by the time I end stream... I will see you tomorrow in Mitch's stream. Ooh, my... Okay, there was a fire just down there. No throwing cigarettes out the back of the helicopter, please. And thank you.
of dots. Or oh. Ryan started the fire. I actually blame Deadpool. Deadpool started it. So also with the game, I also run what are called um, themes. So each district I can set a building theme if I wish to. So the main themes I've got going is international, European, European suburbia, New Zealand, city centre and university. So that's why you'll see different architecture styles. He's going to land at where I first started the city. I haven't done the metro lines in a while, so I need to keep an eye on them. All aboard the tra Venga train? <laughs> oh. That's the one, choo choo! Ah, these trains are too long. That's a bit of a bug bit. Hope it takes us to Hogwarts. Wrong set of trains. These are the metros, not the. No nine and three quarters here, sorry. Not today. Not. Okay, we're underground at the moment. Back out we go. Goes the freighter. Yes, the cute boarding pass, please. Oh, yes. We waiting on that should have this is gonna say would have been the signal block right as I said reason why we'll drop to first person mode is to one because we're just like sitting in it the most to check out any blocks or problems. Oh, ouch. Nobody saw that. I hear the fire choppers again. Must be a train ahead because it's very slow getting out. Alright. Once we've done this metro, right, I'll restore data, I'll lock it back into day mode and we'll continue on with the airport complex. Hang on to your lunch, everyone. Let me 
can see the helicopters off in the distance doing their thing. So a $2 ticket gets you an all-day tra um, train ride. A $500 monthly pass gets you the f um, a monthly pass in the helicopters if you don't want to mix with the, the rebel, as they say. Yes, it is. Or in my case, the Aurora Australis. So Theme Mixer 2 is currently enabled, which allows me to do the Aurora. So for everyone in the north, will be the uh, Aurora Bolearis. For me, it will be the Aurora Australis. I've also currently turned the Weber off as well, so it means it's not doing the game's not doing its usual habit of pissing with rain every five minutes which is typical Auckland when, when, weather in the winter anyway I think we go drop down to underground after this so we'll come out of it Quiet on the subways tonight. I think it's, it's not too bad. Okay, let's take a Oops, wrong view. Take some happy snaps for the for the content later. We're just going to take some happy snaps. I've never done in my. <laughs> um, so the question uh, do we see the Aurora Australis in New Zealand? You see it from Christchurch South in the South Island. So I won't see it up here unless. Um, well, there's only one condition I can see it in. And if that condition happens, we wouldn't be talking to each other afterwards. Not for a while, anyway. So yeah, south of, anywhere south of Christchurch on a clear night, especially a clear winter's night, you can definitely see the Aurora Australis in pretty full effect. Um, if you go to our dark sky sanctuary in up in the Southern Alps, you will have an absolutely beautiful view of it. Because it's a dark sky, a, a world recognised. Um dark century um yeah no i can't see it up here one i'm in a big i'm in a city so light pollution for one uh two we're just too far north mitch would be too far north but as i said yeah just need to Technically, that can be turned on. Yeah, <laughs> no. Mm. Is that because we're not producing enough plastics? Ah, it's because it's also nighttime, so they won't produce normally. Just checking out some industry stuff. And I'm just pondering. I am just having a very big ponder. Let's 
change that over a bit. Metro. So that's gonna come that's gonna come down there. And that's gonna come down here. Alright. I'm actually gonna scoot away from the airport for a moment. What are these bike lanes? I'm actually going to also come out of nighttime mode. So yeah, as I say, if you want to know how Auckland would see the um, Aurora Australis, you would need an X-class solar flare to hit Earth. And anyone that goes and Wikipedia Googles what an X-class flare is will know why I won't be talking to you afterwards for a while. Put it that way. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> 